Hello and welcome to Football Daily. Today we've made a team of players who deserve a little more recognition. Goalkeeper Anthony Lopez. Portugal's Lopez has been first choice between the sticks at Lyon for three seasons now. Though just 26, he is a calm and mature presence and follows in the footsteps of Gregory Coupe and Hugo Lloris in wearing Lyon's number one shirt. And Lopez's quality bears comparison to Lloris too. Last season they both registered 13 clean sheets, whilst Lopez made 2.3 saves per goal to Lloris 2.1. Especially impressive given that the Spurs man is protected by Alderweireld and Vertonghen. Lopez also tops the French in distribution, with 72% of his passes finding a teammate. And in case you're wondering if he can claim a high ball as well, Lopez punches just 8% of the time and catches an astonishing 92% of balls. It's no wonder the Euro 2016 winner is starting to attract interest from the continent's giants. Right back, James Milner. Yawn all you want, but James Milner is one of the most versatile and intelligent players around. Not quick, not skillful, and a little boring, he has nonetheless played as a winger, a centre mid, a right back, left back, and even up front at the top level. Playing in midfield for Liverpool in 15-16, Milner bagged 5 goals and 11 assists, giving him a better attacking record than Philippe Coutinho, who scored 8 and assisted just 5. Milner also created 2.3 chances and won the ball back an astonishing 3.4 times a game. But in 2016-17, in the left back role, he's put up almost identical numbers, whilst his pass completion has risen from 77% to 87%. He might not be amazing at anything, but he's good at everything. And he's a great reader of the game as well. Perhaps the most underrated ability of them all. Centre-back, Andrea Barzagli. The forgotten member of Juventus' central defensive triumvirate, Andrea Barzagli is still a crucial brick in one of Europe's sturdiest defensive walls at the age of 35. In 2015-16, he played 31 league games and 1,000 minutes more than Giorgio Chiellini, who's three years his junior. Barzagli also wins a greater proportion of aerial duels than Chiellini or Bonucci and has the best pass completion of all three. His experience, meanwhile, keeps him out of the book as he saw yellow only twice last season and committed just seven fouls in Serie A, compared to 27 for Chiellini and 35 for Bonucci. He's won five titles in Turin, the Bundesliga with Wolfsburg and the World Cup back in 2006, appearing in the Serie A Team of the Year on three occasions. A fantastic career which remains far from over. Centre-back, Socrates. He may go by Socrates, burly Greek defender is better known for his brawn than his brains. Now in his fourth season with Dortmund after spells at Werder Bremen and AC Milan, Socrates is a fast and strong centre-back, but has seen his career stunted by recurrent injury issues. When he is fit, the BVB centre-half is truly intimidating, winning two-thirds of his aerial duels and using his anticipation to step up and confront opponents. But there is also a little silk with the steel, as Socrates averages 89% pass completion in the Bundesliga, despite playing 81% of his passes forward, a higher proportion than the likes of Koscielny or even Gerard Piquet. Now 28, Socrates has just one league title on his CV, but when he's healthy, he's one of Europe's best. Left back, Felipe Luiz. Aside from a weird year at Chelsea, Felipe Luis has arguably been the world's best left back for the past half a decade. The Brazilian was briefly on the books at Ajax and Real Madrid, and he credits his excellent tactical awareness to that spell in the Netherlands, where he trained alongside the likes of Maxwell and Wesley Schneider. In 2014-15, Felipe's departure to Chelsea saw standards slip a little in the Atleti backline, with the club conceding 29 goals in the league. Still a pretty decent record. But when he returned Turn to the Vincente Calderon, Simeone's team were sensational in defence, allowing just 18 goals in their 38 league matches. With that record, we're pretty sure that Simeone would kill him before letting him leave again. Midfielder, Gabi. Born in Madrid and raised in Atletico's youth system, Gabriel Fernandez Arenas is in his second spell with Los Rojibrancos. He actually left the club for Zaragoza at 24, but returned in 2011 and was named club captain by Diego Simeone. Gabi has since played more than 45 games every season and missed just 19 league matches in the last five years. 
his captaincy has coincided with a period of huge success for the club, with the Rohi Blancos winning the Europa League, the Copa del Rey, La Liga and reaching two Champions League finals. In a midfield full of workhorses, Gabi records 4.7 tackles and interceptions a game, topping perhaps the world's best box-to-box -box mid, Arturo Vidal. Gabi, therefore, is a man truly in his manager's image. Midfielder Fernandinho. Another under the radar superstar, Fernandinho has never had the plaudits he's deserved. After eight years and six titles with Shakhtar Donetsk, the Brazilian switched to Manchester City for 40 million euros in 2013 and won the league in his first year with the Sky Blues. Yaya Toure might have grabbed the headlines with his long range screamers, but Fernandinho was the team's engine, snuffing out attacks and recycling the ball to City's fearsome front line. He bagged five goals and three assists from central midfield whilst putting up elite defensive numbers and completing 70% of his dribbles. Now reinvented as a lone pivot in Pep Guardiola's 4-1-4-1 system, Fernandinho already looks a team of the season contender, and if City lift the league trophy, it will be down to this man. Midfielder, Marek Hamšík. Coming up on a decade at Napoli, Slovakian Marek Hamšík has now been in Italy since he was 17 years old. Despite playing a deep role, he has consistently been one of Italy's best creators, with 49 assists and 40 goals in the last five Serie A seasons. The Slovakian is now signed up at the Stadio San Paolo until 2020, and has capped in the side for the last two seasons. He joined in 2007, just after Napoli had won promotion back to the top flight, and in 2012, he scored in the Coppa Italia final to secure a 2-0 win over Juventus, handing the club their first silverware in 22 years. And with the partner pay once again challenging for the title, no one sums up their rise better than Marek Hamšík. Attacking mid, Franco Vazquez. How did it take so long for Franco Vazquez to leave Palermo? The Sicilian club has produced some quality players in recent years, including Javier Pastore, Paolo Dybala and Andrea Barzagli. An elegant attacking midfielder Vazquez spent four years with the Rossonieri, helping them to win promotion from Serie B in 2014. The next year, his partnership with Dybala earned Vazquez 10 league goals and 10 assists, as Palermo reached an impressive 11th place on their return to the top flight. After Dybala's departure, Vazquez became even more important, scoring in a 3-2 win over Verona on the last day of the 2015-16 season to keep Palermo in Serie A. Since then, he's joined Sevilla for 15 million euros and was the man of the match on his league debut as the Andalusians won 6-4 against Espanyol. Forward, Andrea Bellotti. Bellotti is just 22 years old, but with his record, it's truly remarkable that he's still plying his trade at Torino. The Maroons have a proud history and have won seven Italian titles over the years, but have dropped off since their 1940s heyday. Nonetheless, Bellotti looks set to become a superstar. He registered 12 goals and four assists in 35 league games last campaign and defended from the front as well, making two tackles and interceptions each match. He's also taken off in 2016-17 like a rocket, netting five goals and assisting one in just five appearances, also taking four shots a game and producing 2.2 key passes as well. With stats like those, it's only a matter of time until a big club comes calling. Chances are, they'll be getting a gem. Forward, Edinson Cavani. If you were to believe Twitter, you'd think Edinson Cavani was absolute garbage. But the Uruguayan's scoring record can compare to just about anyone's, with his strength and movement causing problems for even the best defenders from John Terry to Laurent Koscielny. Cavani may shank four out of his five shots into the river sign, but he has still scored an impressive 92 in just 156 games for PSG, while his 104 in 138 games for Napoli is even more impressive. He can see consistently gets himself into dangerous positions and maintained a top-class strike rate even when shifted out wide to accommodate Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He may not have the reliability of Zlatan or international teammate Luis Suarez, but Cavani has been a quality goalscorer his whole career. Therefore, he's the perfect spearhead for our underrated 11. So there we have it, but what do you guys at home think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, why don't you click here for loads more great content and down there to subscribe. And as always guys, we'll catch you later.